what's up guys welcome back to another video in today's video as you can see behind me dad and I we scored a pretty big permission here this house was built in the 1870s and we're expecting a lot of good treasure coming out of this place guys I've already been digging there's so many good signals in this ground it's obvious that this place hasn't been detected yet I mean it's just everywhere we go I mean, just good signal after good signal after good signal so hopefully you guys enjoy this video thankfully it was pretty nice out it was raining this morning so that should just help our odds with the soil being wet enjoy all right guys we're at an old 1890 house you can see over there in the wall how some of it's put together pretty cool place I don't think it's ever been detected we are getting so many signals it's hard to keep up with them so we've been trying to dig so many holes then come back grass is kind of high making it a little tough but we're still getting good signals to it anyways pretty cool find here must have been a home with some little kids because we've been finding good many of these but there's that one a lot of our holes are coming when you dig one hole you get multiple things in the hole like this hole here found this pretty cool little motorcycle right along the porch but also pretty cool little button it's not made out of metal or anything I just seen it when I dug the hole so pretty cool little find and then we'll do one more hole here must have had a wooden handle on it handles going but a decent little knife cool little knife not old but cool all right so dad's not the only one that can find matchbox cars i normally don't find them but this one came up probably about a 27 to 28 on the detector um thought it was going to be a coin but it turns out if you look in the hole looks like there's going to be a little black little matchbox car in there a little Camaro maybe let's see hold on looks like Knight Rider I guarantee you, that's a pretty cool little ride I'd probably drive that it's a nice one all right, so we got our first coin landing up today. Um, it was probably about four to five inches down in the soil. Don't know what it is yet. It's definitely, it came up like a penny, but if you look here in the hole, I don't know. We're about to find out though. Hopefully it's like a wheat scent or something. I, I wasn't seeing anything on it though. Definitely got, looks to be maybe Abe Lincoln's head might actually be uh, not legible oh uh, just a modern-day penny dag gum it about four or five inches down in the ground sucks here's the foundation of this house like I said 1890s you can see a nice rock foundation but really what really shocked me was this is how the house is put together there is no insulation in this house whatsoever. This is actually the inside of the wall that you're looking at right here. So I thought that was pretty, pretty crazy. So you had your siding, no insulation, and then the inside wall. Right there's a good picture of what it looked like. The wall looks like inside. I hope you can see that. But you can tell, is it, this house has got some age to it. Alright guys, I'm going to try to be a little discreet about this, but I found this coin. Here it is, probably, I don't know, six inches down in the dirt. And it's right at the tip of my middle finger right there. I'm hoping it's something good, because I'm going to get Dad to freaking go nuts. It's definitely a coin, guys. Let's see what we got. Ah, oh, dang it. It's a quarter and I don't even think it's silver. Ah, oh, man. Had a lot of 
potential. All right, you guys, so I'm on a little mini coin spill right now. I found two pennies. I found one quarter right here, which I just showed. And then literally about two inches over to the left of this hole is another, not one, not two. Actually, it might just be two. I don't know. Hold on. I'm going to check, though. Oh, shoot. Hot diggity daggone dog. Let me put these bad boys down. Boys, if, if this is another quarter, you might see me freak out. Oh, look at that. A little 22 casing. What a kick in the... Never mind. All right, guys. AT Pro Matchbox Cars. About anywhere from an 86 up to about a 93. You keep track of these. How many we've got so far. It's been a lot. But at least it's something finding. Here was some kind of small little button. Almost feels like it's made out of lead. It's pretty heavy. But in the same hole was this pretty cool looking rock. I was like, huh, I'll take that with me too. I hope you're keeping track because I've done lost track. Cool looking little, I don't know, looks like a PT Cruiser, all souped up. All right, I swear to you, this is the very first dig of the day. It was coming up 83, 84 on the Garrett AT Pro, and I'm thinking it's going to be awesome. Come down here and look at it. Can you see it? Let's look at this bad boy to get. Oh my gosh, it's heavy. I think we got something good. Fifty cent piece, maybe. I have no idea. I'm not going to rub it much more. I'm going to clean this bad boy up later, and we'll let you see it. But it's going to be good. I don't know how well you can see it in the camera. It's got a date of 1914 on it. Something about California Panama Canal. All right, here's just a little tip for people that's out in the woods and you're trying to find old home sites this stuff right here this ain't a a wild plant this is what they call green ivy around here it's all the way up in through here you might even notice it back on that uh, if we show it if it makes the clip you might even notice it on the chimney I had a bunch of it growing on there but it's all through the woods here that's not something that grows natural that was something that was started by somebody back in the day and it's just taking place and it's all over this woods so that's a good tip for when you're looking for a home site especially as the leaves start to drop these stay really green so they stand out really good all right here was some kind of a, a wheel or some kind of a i don't know but in the same hole was that little glass lid i thought that was pretty neat i guess you'd call that milk glass that's what I said, every time we dig a hole, more than one object comes out of each hole. Alright guys, so I'm digging a like a solid 23, 22 signal here. And as I pop the plug, there's something that fell down in the hole. I don't even know what the signal is yet, but it's funny that Dad, it took him five years to find his first marble. It took me one year just to find mine, so I guess I'm beating him in that race. Check that marble out. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and just check around the plug. That is pretty cool. Um, we're gonna check around the plug though. Probably gonna be a bullet casing, if, if I had to guess. All right, so I finally found it. I I don't know if this is part to a car it's almost got to be, but I think this car got ran over by the lawnmower, and I'm finding shrapnel of it everywhere. Like, this is probably the seventh piece. 
Maybe by the end of the video, I'll actually be able to piece it together. Stay tuned. Some kind of dune buggy. Jordan found a yellow bumper earlier. Maybe. That's the other piece of it. All right, guys. So Jason just came in. We're going to have a lot more video footage now. Uh, we're going to go ahead and end this segment right here. We're going to make this a two-part series. So at the end of the next video is when we'll show all our finds. I have a funny feeling that it's going to be a lot of stuff. Might not be anything really super cool, but we're digging a lot of good signals, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you stay tuned for next week's video. Hopefully we'll be having a simplex then too. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, be sure to smash that like button. Maybe subscribe if you want to see more content. I said I'm done finding bullets. I might just find part to a gun. Let's see what we got here. I'm no gun expert, guys. But I'm pretty sure that that's like a bolt to a gun, you think, Dad? <laughs>